Hi, I'm Louis Ness, host of Behind the Scenes. And today we're gonna take a look at how Apex Arts Magnet Program prepares for a new school year. So the Apex Arts Magnet Program is uh, Anne Arundel County Public Schools opportunity of providing students to, to select into an immersive, rigorous, collaborative, artistic experience uh, for those students who really want to spend uh, a, an increased amount of time during their school day uh, making art. Uh, we're excited. We've got an opportunity for middle school students uh, at Brooklyn Park and Bates. Uh, and then our high school students uh, are at Broadneck High School and Annapolis High School. And then we also utilize the space here at Studio 39 uh, to help facilitate that collaboration and uh, arts making experience. So each year our biggest challenge is making sure that our students uh, have all of the resources that they need, uh, but also being able to create the space where they're able to collaborate and understand who they are and how they fit into the community. So our sixth grade students, uh, they participate in a summer bridge uh, experience. This year took place where all of our uh, Brooklyn Park and Bates students uh, did their bridge experience here at Studio 39. And we really wanted to just create this uh, on-ramp for the students so that when they hit the school year, uh, they know what's expected of them and they can be comfortable going into this new experience. The biggest task to plan a new year for me is working in our extended day program, Apex Plus. I work with artists in our area from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore and even more locally who come in and work with our students in project-based learning and technique acquisition and we work together on building a course catalog of offerings for our students to participate in throughout the year. For me, it's really getting the building ready for our children to come on back. Um, we have a lot of operational things. We work at a really high tempo here at Studio 39. We want to make sure that our building upgrade that's occurring, we have really exciting that our electrical upgrade is occurring this year so that we can bring all of our spaces up to modern standards so that our students have the best opportunities to use the best equipment and the best techniques to further their art. My biggest test for the school year would be uh, making sure things are ready for our new teachers coming in. The biggest task for the school year is making sure that the building is prepared for the kids and the staff to return. So we're a program that has really five locations. So we're so very grateful uh, that Annapolis and Broadneck and Bates and Brooklyn Park all have their teams that are working on getting their spaces ready for the upcoming school year, working through various construction projects. At Bates, we have uh, much of our facility, much of our uh, usable space uh, is being worked on as part of their upgrades. So we were able to use Studio 39 as a place where we could conduct our bridge uh, experience, but we've also been spending a lot of time trying to update and upgrade our space. Studio 39 was the original Germantown Elementary School. And so just this morning, we had a meeting uh, with the contractor who's gonna be doing the electrical upgrades so that we can provide state-of-the-art, industry standard experiences for our students uh, that require uh, the demands of a power grid that wasn't planned for back in 1939 when Studio 39 was constructed. So. The, the work of all of our facilities partners, our maintenance partners, our custodians, our teachers, our guest artists, all of the people, our administrator, business manager, I mean, everybody involved uh, works so co collaboratively to help make sure that this space is what it needs to be for our students so that they can step into these experiences without any technical limitations uh, to be able to create their art. It's so important for us, for our families and students to feel welcome here. And one of the things that we're doing to prepare for them is doing a welcome event or a convocation for our incoming students so they can be comfortable in our building, have an opportunity to meet and mingle with each other, with our artists, with our teachers. And we think that really will set them up for a great successful year. To try to make the students and staff and parents feel a little bit safer, taking some training classes um, on new security measures and things in place and try to uh, share that information with the rest of the office staff. 
at the beginning of the school year, we uh, have onboarding opportunities and we have a, uh, a welcome at the beginning of the school year for our students and families just to be able to uh, get, a, get a chance to, at the beginning of the school year uh, to hear some of the exciting new uh, plans for the upcoming uh, academic year as well as give them an opportunity to put names with faces so many times you get an email or some type of newsletter and it's important for students and families to be able to associate that communication uh, with the people that are uh, providing that so uh, that's very important to us uh, as each year as we try to get uh, the upcoming school year uh, started for students and families to feel really comfortable getting into this upcoming school year Getting the building ready for upcoming school year is kind of a multi-process here at Studio 39. We don't have a lot of time during the school year to actually do projects that would help increase our productions, our performances, or even upgrades to our classroom, except for that short summertime. So the building is a combination of both regular maintenance, all of our lighting would come down, everything gets cleaned, reset, what's broken, what needs to be fixed, and special projects that also come up. So if you wanted a new floor on your space, we would be able to do that just over the summertime months. During the school year, we don't have the time. We are running events constantly here at Studio 39 for both AACPS, Apex Arts, and communities that come in here as well. Setting up the classrooms for teachers, what we do is we go into the classroom. Um, we do a high dusting, then we'll wipe everything down. Um, the computers, the tables, the chairs. And once we finish that, we pull the furniture out into the hallway. And then um, we will take a dust mop and then we'll go dust mop the floors and then we'll scrub the floors. We'll place the furniture back into the rooms and we'll set the rooms up the same way the rooms were when we went into clean. The Apex Arts program is very fortunate. We have a, a number of artistic partners that without whom our program would not be able to thrive. So we have Maryland Hall and the Chesapeake Arts Center who are absolutely uh, critical and essential to the success of our program. Uh, we've got uh, Art Farm, we've got Do or Die Productions, we've got a number of artistic partners, and all of our guest artists that come in and work with our students. Uh, we're so fortunate that we're in an arts-rich community that allows us an opportunity uh, to be able to have our students work with people in the industry and get to interact with spaces that are industry uh, specific. This past spring, uh, we had an opportunity to partner with Ram's Head for one of our performances uh, for our commercial band. Uh, but we have so many uh, uh, folks who in our community help to provide our students with the space to be able to authentically create their art. And we're, we're constantly looking for new partners, uh, folks who really want to be able to share their artistic passions with our students. Working with guest artists is a fun and exciting element of our program. So a lot of them will offer different courses based on a proposal system. So they'll tell us what they are experts at and what they can bring to our students. And we work together to create courses that our students can engage in with them. So one of the most important things that we do during the course of a year is make sure that our students and our teachers have the tools that they need to be able to create their art. So uh, every year we try to assess uh, communicated needs from teachers, communicated needs from students as to how they can uh, create authentic expressions of, their, of what their artistic voice is. Uh, so that's a huge priority, especially during the off, uh, uh, the off time between school years, is making sure that we're acquiring the, the necessary resources for, for students and teachers. Um, we also uh, make sure that we're updating curriculum under the leadership of Jennifer Jarrell. Uh, we've uh, been undergoing, we, or we've gone through a number of curriculum uh, edits and updates. Uh, we know that the superintendent has uh, created uh, a space to really be able to uh, reflect on what is our curriculum doing now, what do we want it to be doing, and how are we going to end up getting to the point where everything's in alignment, uh, system goals, program goals, uh, and how are we providing teachers with guidance to be able to, uh, to get to reach those uh, targets. So we'll be meeting with teachers this year, 
uh, in uh, just a couple of weeks. And so we're working hard to try and make sure that that opportunity to meet with teachers is uh, uh, meaningful for them and, and helps to provide them with focus for the upcoming school year moving forward. Well, getting our building ready is really an exciting task this year. Um, we, we work in a building here that is, that is older and it's a former elementary school. So we're now going to be at a place where all of our infrastructure within the building is gonna be up to modern standards so that our students have the best opportunities to do their work here. So setting up our classroom spaces here at Studio 39 is a little different also than your traditional classroom. Normally what happens is a teacher is able to come in, they set up their posters, they get everything ready, and it is their domain to set up in the best way possible. We have multiple teachers using each and every space. So what we have to come up with is basically a neutral setting that works for whatever happens to be coming into that classroom. So that could mean that for two hours, it's gonna be a visual art room, but the next two hours, it's gonna be a creative writing classroom. That's two different teachers with two different ideas and setups. So here we work very hard on making our spaces as versatile and easy to manipulate as possible. Everything's on wheels, everything's got standard setups, and you can come in and make it your home and be ready for the next teacher to come in. This past school year was probably the first post-COVID uh, school year where we felt like people were taking their training wheels off and they were getting out there and doing this thing again. Uh, so we're thrilled to be able to create this space for students moving forward uh, to really fully embrace an opportunity to present, to create, to be able to showcase and share their arts uh, and indicate to the world that we really are a world-class arts magnet program here in Anne Arundel County and we are providing this space for our students uh, in a way that, again, not only provides them guidance, but gives them agency and ownership over the art that they're creating. Uh, it's exciting every single school year, but this upcoming school year, I think, is going to be special because we're going to be really in a position to be able to showcase the strengths of the Apex Arts Magnet program here in Anne Arundel County. The most exciting thing for me for any school year is seeing what the kids can do and what they can make. So seeing our art students present their work in galleries in our schools and out of our schools and seeing our performing artists on stage, whether that is a small classroom stage or a large public performance, is always the best part of the year for me. So I'm just excited to have the students coming back uh, and watching them do the thing that they get to do here at Studio 39 and being able to support them in my new role. What I'm looking forward to in this next school year is what I look forward to working here in Apex Arts. Every year is going to be new ideas, new projects, and new adventures. We have a program here called Capstone, um, which hosts here at Studio 39, and that is the culmination of all of their years at Apex. So for me, it is one of the most exciting times is to see what seniors can do with everything that they've learned, and then they create it all on their own. So it's an extremely independent project. It culminates in two huge festivals every year, and I have over 100 students coming in this year, each with their own individual ideas, projects, a budget, and a creation that they're gonna make happen. I'm looking forward to making sure the building is safe, secure, sanitary on a regular basis for the kids and the staff. One of the things I look forward to at the beginning of the school year is watching how the students go from the beginning of the school year to the end and just seeing their creativity come alive. That's the best part about working here.